Hello, and welcome to the Zentangle Project Pack series. This lesson is part of Project Pack number 18. Nice. <laughs> My name is Martha. And I'm Molly. How are you? We're so glad you're here joining us. Um, we just wanted to remind you that we will be using all the materials from our Project Pack number 18 envelopes. Project Packs can be purchased at Zentangle.com and from some of our certified Zentangle teachers. Uh, we do recommend watching the Project Pack video from number 18, the introduction video is very important um, because we do go over a lot of, I don't know, just tips and techniques about using these different um, tools and tiles, these amazing new tiles. So um, please make sure you tune into that first before joining us here. So we're very excited to um, share with you this particular project pack because it does introduce a new tangling surface, which is really fun. And we're calling this new member of our Zentangle tile family the translucent Z tile. Beautiful. I know. And just a reminder that all the lessons in this series are able to be um, modified to work on any surface. So even though we're going to be working on our translucency tiles, and some of you might have those, if you do not have them and you want to play along with um, the lessons, please, please join us because I'm sure there's a way you can with whatever you have at home. So ready to rock and roll? We're ready. Let's do it, Martha. So Martha's going to get it started. All right, so uh, here I have my tools in front of me from Project Act 18. And you got a whole bunch of fun stuff in that envelope, but for this particular tile, I'm going to be working with um, the two black pens, a graphite pencil, and the tortillon, and possibly both of these jelly rolls. I want to have them around just in case. See what I see what I come up with. As we begin our tangling today, I just want to remind everybody just to take a moment, maybe just a deep cleansing breath or two or three just to sort of uh, break away from whatever busyness that's been around your day today i know certainly we've had some some busyness here <laughs> so it's this helpful for us this too is so fun for us to be able to oh i know we're very for a little bit very lucky to break in our normal work and then uh come down here to studio z and do yes. some do some tangling so when you're ready and you're in your comfortable seat um, I'll have you take out one of these beautiful new tiles and we're not going to be working with a string or a border. We're kind of going to just go at this in a fun organic way. And I have, um, in front of me, my, my chosen, um, silver shadow jelly roll pen. And everybody got one of these in their project pack. They're really fun. They kind of go on this deep and jewel toned. Um, juicy color on the tile and then they dry to this completely different effect it's actually really fun to work with yeah the metallic particles really like float to the surface yeah so it dries way different than we started off and with this particular working surface it has an even you know another effect and that's that see-through what you see on the other side so really fun to work with um, so whichever color jelly roll you have with you I invite you to join me on this sort of Fun little organic, we're gonna just lay down some texture on this side of the tile. It actually doesn't, doesn't matter which side you start on. So I'm gonna be working primarily with an S shape and um, this, this tangle that we're doing it, or as it, as it will appear here, is sort of a variation on a very old tangle we call Tidings. And basically I'm borrowing this S shape from Tidings and you can uh, feel free to watch me. Kind of just a, a luscious S. Now you can either start just like that or start like a printemps and make a little S like this. Turning your tile, these little spirally S's will sort of nestle into one another. And I show you both variations because really it's all about variation. And I'm not going to cover my entire tile here, so uh, do pay attention to that. Some of them will have 
kind of big sweeping spirals and some of them will be a little bit smaller but you want to grow these s shapes out of the beginning i mean out of the beginning out of the center mm -hmm. and have them grow outward big swooping strokes again this is very textural very simple but we're working on building layers for our tile here our whole composition and you'll notice that this jelly roll has a lot of ink that wants to come out pretty uh, pretty fast so take your time kind of appreciate how quickly it comes out and you can uh, vary your pressure. My goal is to cover oh about two thirds of this tile. So I'm actually almost, I'm almost done here. And there's some obvious spaces that get left left behind and um, that's actually works with our overall idea of how we want this to develop. Maybe one more over here. Perhaps you can add Some larger, nice big, bold orbs of ink just as some interest around the edges. And kind of enjoy how this jelly roll dries. It's so cool. And it does take a long time to dry, so just yeah. be really aware of that. See how I'm turning the tile just kind of adding some almost bubble like if you see some spaces in the middle that you want to add some gentle ones to but again please leave some of these more open areas for us to embellish further in a minute. And you can always go back later with your jelly roll if you see an opportunity for more bubbles. So much fun to put these down. So we're going to let this dry for a minute and come back with some more bold and dramatic lines. I am going to pick up my black Micron 01. I just actually accidentally picked up the 10, which happens very often. So I have my black Micron 01 and I'm going to do a little aura-ing. And I don't want to, I want a loose aura. I don't want it to be like a real nitty gritty aura. So I'm going to first aura the whole thing. I'm still actually, even though we've waited quite a while and you see the silver kind of coming to the surface, this pen stays wet for a long time. So I really encourage you to try to not touch it. But I'm going to start my aura here. And I'm going to do... Kind of a loose aura. I don't want it to um, go into all those little dots. I'm going to kind of try to go around the scoots, not scoodles, tidings. It's actually similar to a really old tangle that um, was in our original kit <laughs> like a long, long time ago. 
So some of these tangles have overlapping themes. So you can see I'm kind of like, I don't want to get really fine aura. I want these kind of more um, sort of cartoony. Well, that's a good way of describing it. I like that. Yeah. It's like you're if you were containing the bubbles. It's know, like when you're, you're trying to <laughs> when you were a kid and you'd be like, "I'm gonna draw some clouds." Mm. And oh, puffy clouds, right? All right. So as you can see, I want these more kind of like animated auras. Um, maybe I have like one or two little ones, but you don't want to do these really like tiny ones because it, it, that'll make sense later. And perhaps you're watching this through and beforehand and not um, actually tangling. I'm going to go in here and add a couple of auras to some of these spaces. Just kind of bouncing around and just playing around with some definition here and there. And you don't have to hit every space, but just kind of creating a little more depth to the pattern here. Especially when you use that gel pen, it kind of has a tendency to feel like it's kind of a, a background. So I think I'm gonna add a really thin aura all the way around again, just to build some kind of dimension here. So I'm just going to go around and nice and close to that last one I did. Remembering to breathe. And we sort of try to find like a bunch of different techniques we can share with you just to sort of spark your imagination. What else are you going to discover within this? So I think, Martha, I'm going to pick up that jelly roll one more time and add a couple of more dots here and there just to fill the space. See if there's any maybe inside a couple of these. Well, it's such a good reminder that, you know, you don't have to be done until you're ready to be done. You know, right? you go back, you add a layer of interest, and then you're like, oh, maybe I need a little bit more of that beautiful All right. silver shadow. Kind of just dancing around a little bit. Being very careful not to touch the surface. All right, I think that we're pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do, Martha, what are we gonna do? We're gonna let it dry. <laughs> Can you tell that we've, um, we've had we've to learn trouble. that <laughs> lesson a few times? Yeah, so a couple more spots here. But I think that's pretty good. All right, folks. So we're going to um, definitely just let this sit for a minute, and then we'll come visit it in, I don't know, let's say a few minutes. This is starting to look pretty cool. All right, Miss Molly. I am going to join you with this, um, using this black 01 pen. And um, I'm going to take a moment to sort of Hold it up, flip it around, and have a have a um, kind of an assessment of how things are looking so far. I think now, though, I'm going to work on the other side. It has this really cool, kind of muted tribal-looking um, blob of amoeba. I'm not sure what it looks like, but interesting shape. And I'm going to start out by mimicking your beautiful aura. So um, basically just going to trace over that inner aura, the first one that you did. So I'm going to carefully trace, I mean, I say carefully, be mindful, but you know, it doesn't have to be exact. But it's a beautiful starting point, right? When you don't know what to draw 
Sephora, and this is kind of in that same thought process. And I'm just taking my time and turning the tile and kind of getting a, a good angle where I can see the lines. Already I'm enjoying seeing this really fun textural background come shining through the other side. So fun. So now I have kind of, I've got this kind of orby blob of a shape and the way I'm seeing it now is that I have all these little points of interest here. So I'm going to start off in the center with a big sweeping stroke that begins sort of like spoken or even senna, just a beautiful curved shape. I'm going to somewhere in the center-ish, doesn't even have to be perfect, I'm going to draw a little starting point and sweep down to one of my little lumpy corners. You see that? And I'm going to work my way all the way around, working to hit each one of these little points. So you can kind of see where this is going, but feel free to watch me for a little bit. I'd like to start in the same place each time each time kind of wrapping around and then landing on that little point. And I had to manipulate that line. It's not just a straight shot. I kind of see how it feels when I'm approaching it. I've got a tiny little aura at the beginning and then come down and land. Turning my tile each time, sweeping around and then landing. Can you see how this is growing? It's so cool. Spinning around and then landing. So this next one is a little interesting. I'm gonna see how I feel about that when I get there. Coming around, I'm gonna land on the first one and then maybe do a little baby one like that. And you see how I'm coming off that same line that's already there, a lot like Senna, the Tangle Senna. Going along my beginning and sticking the landing right there. Right about now, this, this spiral is getting pretty big. This might be the last time I start up here. And then for this last bit, I'm going to kind of come down my previous line just a little bit. Kind of see how I started that one? It's starting to fold under a little bit. Retracing that, that line. Retracing. And you can imagine how everyone doing this is gonna have a very different looking scenario going on. We've all got a different number of these beautiful petal shapes that are developing. So I'd like to just add just some little corners of, of ink just to help define these beautiful flowing. To me, it looks like some kind of beautiful napkin that somebody just went and twisted in the middle and this very has very like fabric folds to it. I think it's really neat. You can add some rounding on your corners up here, but I'm going to actually go in and darken the corners. You see that? 
And I was, I'd sort of the top right of each one of these folds, I'm just gonna add just the slightest amount of ink. Each one, well, in this situation, we've got this funny thing going on here. I'm just gonna ink in this whole corner here. Just the corner. It's just like rounding, but it's on the inside instead of the outside. As my practice continues, I find I'm much more brave with things like adding extra ink or extra graphite. Some things that I wasn't sh so confident with early on in my practice. You can see how suddenly you're adding this another another dimension to this composition. So that looks pretty cool. I might even just add a little ink to that first little stroke. All right, so I think my last piece here is, I enjoyed how that second layer of aura looked on the other side. So I think I'm gonna add the same thing here. So again, just a very fine space slowly and deliberately adding that graceful aura line appreciating the lines you already put down loving this. All right, I think we're going to put down the black pen now and look on adding some shading to this kind of fun little object we've created. Martha, I love this. I just feel like it's like reactionary. It's like I love that. It kind is of like... because who would, I mean, how would you even design something right. with that cool space? So yeah, super cool. I think it's neat. I love it. So let's add a little bit of graphite sort of to bring some definition to this. And I think what we're going to do is just play around with these lines. And I think I'm going to put um, some graphite on one side of all of them and then go back and sort of buff it out and see what happens. Um, as we've been saying all along that the... Uh, the graphite is really fun on these tiles. It kind of moves around nicely. The pastel pencils too, so that's really cool. And I'm sort of not going into the spiral right now because I'm going to go revisit that after. So I think it's more comfortable for my hand to do it this way. Again, using that point of the pencil to get that edge. Kind of nice. And I think I'm going to sort of play around with it, like some dark on sort of the inside of this spiral. Inviting some of it out, and we'll see what happens with that. And then uh, we'll go back in with the tortillon. My goodness, so nice. It's like so easy to spread around. I love it. It's very agreeable. Yes. Isn't it nice when graphite agrees with you? <laughs> I mean, of all the things that we have to come up against, it's like this is just going with a, going with the groove today. And I can already see these fun patterns coming through. So just think about like what other texturing tangles you can put underneath here, play around with.
And then just going into this middle part. Mm, so pretty. That's it's awesome. It's changed dramatically. Right? Yeah. I think I, um, I might just do a little bit on some of these. Just carrying this through a little bit on a few of them. What do you think? Oh yeah, because I love, because you can see there's a little bit of extra ink there just to kind of give that folding feel. Right. That is, that is um, actually adding to that. And the, uh, the double aura helps kind of. All right, so that, oh my goodness, that is so vibrant. And then just to add a little punch, um, our kit here that we had had a orangey pastel pencil, actually called orange. And we're going to play around with something, just adding a little glow to it, I think, Martha. It's oh, a little, glow. little it's crazy, yeah. No, that's a perfect word. Um, pastel pencil, just like the graphite, really kind of does well on this um, paper. And I'm just going to go all around the edge here. like right up to that aura. Kind of fun, kind of crazy fun. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it out in a minute and I think it's gonna, you're gonna agree that it's just like a fun, and you might have a different color because everybody got different colors. So you might not have this super bright color that we have, maybe yours is something a little more subtle, which, um, might have a different look. We'll see how this orange, I don't know, the orange is fun. It's punchy. And just taking your time with these um, pencil strokes, just like you would your pen strokes, and working your way around these edges. These are General's um, pastel chalk pencils and um, really fall in, in love with them because they combine so nicely with the graphite and specifically on this paper they're just buttery and fun and really enjoying them almost like stained glass it's like really cool So now I'm going to take my tortillon, and I have one that has orange on it already, and just look at this, just sort of revisiting all of it, and it just kind of melts into the paper. So fun. I love it. And I'm using kind of the side of my tortillon. It's like a gentle hue as it fades into the other areas of the just blends so nicely really is glowing right so you know you can um pause and watch this part and then decide oh i want to do this to my tile or do i not want to do it to my tile and there's always you know another project to explore it a different way so these project packs, especially the ones with new materials in them, are all about allowing you to take chances. And um, a lot of times, like it's worth just to follow along what we're doing, just to process it and learn the technique. And then you can go back and do it again in a way that inspires you a little bit differently. So highly recommend that. Kind of spreading this all around different ways. I'm doing these kind of circular motions as you can see, but um, it's up to you and how you want to do it. You'll get a feel for it. Um, some of these supplies can get a little messy, but if you tap into your inner artist, I think you can play with that slightly messiness too. Um, always just being aware of 
smudging your fingers on things or whatever. Um, you don't wanna bring the mess into areas you didn't want it, but if you do, there's always a way around it. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Ooh, so gorgeous. Look at that translucency coming through. So that's really fun because it's like this on one side. And then... I guess it was a pink look to it on one side. Right, yeah. and then flipping it over, it looks totally different. I'm going to just... I know I can't stop. I'm going to add a little bit of graphite. I'm not even putting new graphite on. I'm just taking the um, tortillon. And just going into a couple of these, um, it's real subtle, but going into a couple of these nudging areas just to kind of um, give it a little character. Love that. All right. I think that's pretty much it now, Martha. Well, folks, she's lovely. She is Add so lovely. Add the M &M. All right, I think that's pretty good. Thanks, Martha. As always, Thank a you. pleasure Thanks to. Thanks for uh, joining us. Oh my goodness, have so much fun with this one. <laughs> All right, see bye. You soon.